How about a fire piston? Let's try it. Hello and welcome to Connecticut Backcountry. I'm Gary and I went on Amazon the other day and I saw this. It was like 16 bucks. It's a fire piston. Can you see it? There it is. It's a fire piston. And uh, basically what it does is it starts a fire by compressing air. It's pretty neat. The kit came with, comes with a tin, a bunch of O-rings, pre-made bird's nest, the fire piston itself, some paracord, a little bit of lube for the fire piston, instructions, char cloth, and fabric to make more char cloth. I'm going to Try to light a fire with this. Now, see how I was pulling it back in? It's got good vacuum. Nice thing about this one is it has the end you can open up so you can actually let air in and out. And voila. It doesn't easily go all the way down. That's what you want. So, how do you use a fire piston? They gave us three baggies of single sheets of char cloth. Alright. There, it tore off a piece. You don't need a large size piece. Just a small piece like that. And ball it up. There's a depression in the end of the piston. You're going to put your char cloth in that depression, right? And boom, Bob's your uncle. Not necessarily that easy, but let's get our uh, bird's nest set up. Oh, they really did give a whole bunch of freight up you. I actually have some more jute with me. You can take this and form a quickie bird's nest. Throw in a little bit more. Surround it with some jute that's not frayed. And we put a little bit of fat wood shavings in there. going to be Fatwood Friday video. Alright. Since I'm not a tinkerer when it comes to fire, I'm not going to try to I'm not going to try to pluck that ember out of there once it's lit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take another piece of char cloth and transfer the ember to the other piece of char cloth and use that in my tinder bundle. And that's the premise, you just smack it, compress the air, And someday they'll get a number. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> mm. There it is. <laughs> see 
that. The wind's kind enough to show you. So I'm going to transfer it to this. And then tuck it in here. See how long it takes to light. We've been hit or miss as far as rain goes as of late. Should have some smoke. So I used some fat wood that a buddy, my buddy Dave gave me. Made some shavings. Smoky wood. Hey Ron, do you think I could have this fire in the house? <laughs> there we go. All right, so now fire's going and I'm done fiddling. I can actually take the piece of charcoal up that's in there out. Wipe it up, put it away for next time. This is not something I would carry with me. This is just a fun thing to play with. Um, yeah, so I recommend anybody who uh, has never tried a fire piston before to actually go out, get one, give it a shot. Um, it's always good to have in your repertoire. Uh, it's a different way to start a fire. It's a good thing to know how to build a fire in a bunch of different ways. So, yeah, anyway, uh, I'd like to say thanks to whomever sent me these little guys. I don't know where they came from. I'd like to say thanks to my buddy Dave for the fat wood I used in the fire. And, uh, yeah, have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Happy Fatwood Friday. Have a great weekend. <laughs>